Hello everybody and welcome back. This is not a pro gardener here. We are in zone 6B. Today we are going to be harvesting in this video. And we're going to talk about broccoli nutrition because we're harvesting broccoli, if you couldn't tell by the thumbnail. And these are mainly the reasons why we choose to grow broccoli every year besides it's such a great vegetable to grow and it's so healthy and great for you to eat. It is a very important that you know some of these nutritional facts about broccoli that can help you or if you hate broccoli then at least try growing it on your own for one plant and see if you like it because growing it in the homegrown garden makes the difference so most of these nutritional facts and the taste is the reason why we grow it every year it's about the third week in june and it's full sun today about 76 degrees it is it's starting to heat up and the reason we are going to be harvesting this broccoli is because we don't want it to flower we had a storm roll in a couple days ago the first rain we've had in like a month and a half it seems and it blew over a couple broccoli plants i had to harvest one of them because it didn't it pr practically uprooted it but i won't include that one into the harvest today the reason we want to harvest it is because we don't want it to flower. Also because next week there is a high of 90 to 97 degrees all week next week. So I have no doubt that it's going to start to flower here soon. They are big enough that I want to harvest them. You can harvest them at any size if you desire them smaller. Or if you just don't have the time, you can harvest them whenever you need to. Now we just happen to have some time today. So we're going to get this done. We're in the in-ground garden today loving this garden season i'll take you down and i'll show you some b-roll of what they all look like before we harvest them so you can get an idea of the harvest and what it looks like when i walk up to them and you can kind of see how the plants look they do have a little sun scald on the crowns that's not a big deal it can still be eaten it's just kind of a little discoloration in the middle of the crown so just keep that in mind sometimes that can happen or sometimes you can wrap the leaves around them i just blanket blanket statement this i just let it grow and then i harvest it when it's ready i don't do anything extra if i do not have to that's just not a big deal to me personally so let's get to it okay everybody so as you can see here so as you can see here this is one of my nicer size broccoli heads not all of them are this size the stem is like two inches thick down here. That's the first year I've grown broccoli stems that thick. And we will be eating some of them if they are not woody. So what you're going to do is you just want to get down here. Be wary of your sharp knife. You want to go down roughly four to five inches below here. Or if you want more of the stem, then by all means, get more of that stem out for yourself. And I'm just going to take my knife and I'm going to hold the broccoli head and I'm just going to push it in there and just cut this guy off just like this. Now, that's a pretty nice size broccoli head. We're going to go ahead and harvest the rest of these guys and then we'll show you what they look like up close to kind of get a better idea of the magnitude of this broccoli this year. Because I am very impressed with how these guys grew this year. So let's go ahead and get this stuff harvested. Also, you can leave this stem like this in the ground and it can continue to produce side shoots to come up of little broccoli heads that you could continually harvest if you desire. I'm gonna try, but the 90 degree weather I don't think is gonna allow it, but we can try. So before the flower buds open, which will be these little bitty buds on here, all these little bitty dots, that's a little flower buds. Before they open, you want to harvest this. Now, broccoli needs to be stored at 32 degrees Fahrenheit 
and 90 to 90 or 95 to 98 percent humidity with circulation with air circulation for like 10 to 14 days so what i do is i harvest them all put them in some uh bags with the other end open i don't tie them shut and i put them in the fridge and i usually blanch and freeze them within a week because i do not want them to decline in nutritional value or anything i want to harvest them and then put them straight in the freezer so let's go ahead and get this stuff harvested <laughs> So this is the harvest. I would say it's a huge harvest. It was a probably like a 32 foot row of this almost. I mean, I had like four plants in another row, but I did lose three plants in this 30 foot row. So I'm just gonna say it's like a 32 foot row of bro broccoli here. I planted them a foot apart, which is very close together. And I'm pretty much, averaging this size which is perfect size there's nothing wrong with that but then again we have probably like six of these that are pretty good size here let me see if i can get that a little up close that's a pretty good size head of broccoli i would say probably like eight inch average of the head the stems are huge these guys are like inch and a half to two inches almost. I would say probably the biggest broccoli head I got is this one, which is pretty awesome. Let's see. I would say this broccoli head is hmm, probably about eight inches like the other one. That thing's pretty big. In comparison, this broccoli head right here is about the size of my head, which is huge. So all in all, the broccoli head, I think I've got this under wraps. I mean, it's not perfect but I'm not trying to be perfect. What I'm trying to do is grow food for the family and a 30 foot row of broccoli gets us for a year and a half, roughly a year to year and a half. And we usually have a couple of these within the first week, but I did 60 feet of broccoli last year and I do have some of that left. We couldn't quite get it all eaten, even though we tried, but it's still not gonna go to waste. It's still good. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this stuff out of here. You, you need to hydro cool it after you cut it. You wanna get it in the fridge, wherever, somewhere to get it cold. You don't want it sitting out here in the sun like this. So what we're going to do is we're gonna pull this up to the garage and put it in the extra fridge that we have so we can get this stuff cooling. So we're gonna go ahead and show you a few more clips of all the broccoli and probably go put it in the fridge. So let's get to it. this was the gypsy broccoli i put a lot of the smaller ones in the back here like here's the smallest one i believe i had but then again i had about six big ones which was pretty awesome they're massive Whew. all right everybody so 
we got all that stuff harvested. Now that 32 foot row is enough for a family of five to six people to eat vegetables like broccoli all year round if you plant them on one foot spacing. So if you're going to do that, you definitely need to meet the requirements of a densely planted broccoli row. So you just gotta keep that in mind. Now, we're gonna talk a little bit about broccoli nutrition. So I just went and did a little research on Johnny's growers library for some of the storing and harvesting information to get the numbers right, like the humidity and stuff. We're just gonna give you some of the facts. So broccoli is a cruciferous vegetable and it's antioxidant rich. Now, some of the nutritional benefits is it contains vitamin C, which doubles as an antioxidant and it's important for immune function and skin health. It also has vitamin K1 and it has it in high amounts. It is important for blood clotting and may promote bone health. It also has folate, which is a uh, vitamin B9. It is needed for normal tissue growth and cell function. It also has potassium, which is an essential mineral. It helps blood pressure control and heart disease prevention. There's also manganese, and manganese has strong antioxidant properties that help protect against free radicals, which are molecules that can cause damage to your cells in your body. You don't want that. Iron, this is a mineral that has many important functions in your body, like transporting oxygen in your red blood cells, which is very important. Now, broccoli is rich in various antioxidants and plant compounds, which add to the health benefits, like sulforaphane. One of the most studied plant compounds in broccoli that, that may protect against various types of cancer. Now, that's huge. That should automatically put broccoli on your list of meal prep right there. And it also has indole 3 carbinol, which is also another plant compound that may help fight types of cancer. It also has cartenoids, which contribute to better eye health. There's also camphorol, if I'm saying that right, camphorol, that may protect against heart disease, cancer, inflammation, and allergies, which is pretty interesting to say the least. It has curcerin, this antioxidant has multiple benefits that include lowering your blood pressure. Now for some people that could be a game changer, so you might wanna include broccoli in your diet. All in all, broccoli is high in many vitamins and minerals and plant compounds. The most abundant one is sulforaphane. Now, after hearing all this information, would you consider adding broccoli to your meal prep or to your, to your vegetable list? After this video, leave it in the comments below any tips or tricks you know about broccoli or leave it in the comments below if you're going to start including broccoli in your food prep. This is not a pro gardener here. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notified anytime I come out with a new video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.